so you know all about me growing up in an orphanage in Arasion. But after that, I ended up in the custody of another place. A lot happened after that, to say the least. Both good and bad. Then things changed again when I was 14, and I ended up somewhere else. That was when someone suggested I take the entrance exam for Aramis. And that was where we met again for the first time in seven years. I had no idea what they'd been up to all that time, and they knew just as little about me. They're just some people you can't get away from, though, I guess. Still, while neither of us knew exactly what happened to him, we could tell something had. We didn't try to push the matter. Instead, we rejoiced in our reunion and rekindled our old bonds. Much happened during our time together, including the school festival in late April and the student council president election. And through it all, we quickly went back to being as close as we were before. When I became student council president, the two of them even helped me with my work. Still, not everything could be the same as it was in the old days. It didn't take long for Van and Elaine to realize their attraction to one another. And, during late autumn, the two of them confessed to each other and started dating. Having suspected how they felt towards one another since our childhood, the only surprise for me was that it took so long. Still, while it made me happy to see the two of them come together, I couldn't help but feel a little lonely to see them pair off without me. Did I have feelings for her? No, not at all. I had a girlfriend of my own at the time, and all in all, I was quite satisfied with my personal life. All the letter he left to me said was, Sorry, take care of Elaine for me. Well, the one he left for Elaine contained a clumsily written apology. Neither of us were told anything about the reason behind his actions. And that's how second-year student Van Arkride dropped out before he could graduate. That was seven years ago now. Well, seven and a half if you want to get nitpicky about it. Van is going to be just fine. Oh? Hmm? I believe the reason he said what he did this morning is the opposite. Because he's facing us head on. He's not trying to change the subject or gloss over how he's feeling. He's giving us a clear sign that something's wrong. We all know how he is. He's cunning, but kind, and more dependable than anyone. And deep down, a little timid, too. That's why I'm not worried about him. He's going to be just fine. Ah! <laughs> you have been doing a fine job as the chief of Arkride Solutions. It seems to come to you naturally, too. As does your consideration for all of us. Yeah. I've always been good at looking out for others. I mean, look at how understanding you've been of my situation. I don't think Elaine and Kincaid are going to be satisfied with that explanation. Or the others in the office, for that matter. Uh, I believe the time will eventually come for you to stop running and face everyone. Not just us, but your friends, your master, the people you live with. 
There are so many people who care deeply for you. I count myself among them. It's honestly hard to watch you sometimes and not say anything. But at the end of the day, the responsibility falls to you before anyone else. And you need to be aware of that. <laughs> Good grief. I feel like I can hear everyone on Renee's side saying the same damn things. I'll settle this with myself eventually, if for nothing else but to make me look cool. <laughs> that sounds like a good start to me. <laughs> you do like to act cool after all. We would all like to do what we can to help you when that time comes. <laughs> Perhaps he's finally losing his touch. Or more like it's time for him to finally pay the piper. Damn, he's fighting a losing battle if even a schoolgirl can see through his act now. Feels like he's putting a pointlessly long abeyance on the inevitable while he tries to find himself to me, if I'm being real with you. Hmm, I could see the finding himself angle, yeah. No idea what an abeyance is, though. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure it's quite that simple. Still, I believe in him. I know he'll stop averting his eyes one day. Not from us so much as from himself. And yet... <laughs> That kind of straightforward honesty that has the greatest effect on him, I think. Perhaps if I'd been able to say the same to him seven years ago. No. There's no use in dwelling on the past. Don't let it get the best of you! yourself together, you mischief maker! <clears throat> Got it, Renee, you pampered prince! Don't you call me any part of that ever again. Damn it! I refuse to lose to a being so unscientific! We will back you up to the utmost of our abilities! Please, Arusha! Keep us safe from harm! I hope you don't think you can take down the great Grimcat! Assume its strength to be equal to a high-ranking cryptid. Here it comes! Yourself. 
Here goes. Time for the main event. Fans alive, ready. A chance. Activate your skill. Saber, activate! Yes! Your move!
Attention Activating skill. Perfect chance! Activating Please, skill. Give me power! Yeah. You're finished! Kidney! Rampage! Boost gauge limit broken. Nice! Moving on up! Well within expectations. No, there will be no need for that. I'll back you up. Yes, but I did everything that I needed to. So I'm not letting you have all the glory. Have another person join you, Van. Everyone else, we will secure the left and right sides. I won't hold back. Initiating skill. There's nothing I can't swipe. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Here's the climax. Grim Knight Long. Boost gauge expanded. Sweep them. Reset. You cannot run. Fire. Perfect chance. Activating skill. Do your worst. This will hurt. Activating skill. Guardian blade. Light them up. Do this. Initiating skill. Let's ready to speed up. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Here's the climax. Grim Knight Wall. Boost gauge expanded. Sweep them. Gotcha! They flinched! Here I go! Activating skill! Perfect chance! Activating skill! Judith! Initiating skill! Now! <laughs> Powered up! Deploying shards! Let's rumble! Engaging skill. All or nothing. Cosmos holding ruin. Celestial impact. 
Boost gauge upgraded. Your move, Aaron! Zeros, get to work! No chance! No chance! I shall handle this! Focus unleashed! How's this? Make it count! Engaging skill! Here's our chance! Energy output at full throttle! This'll do the trick! Activating skill! Locking on! Fire! It's go time! Eat this, sucker! Go move, Aaron! Have some of this! Stop right there! Bold of you! Okay, you kill. Here's our chance! This'll do the trick. Energy output at full throttle! Uh, gotcha! Your move, Aaron! <laughs> Wide open! Yeah. What'd you expect? There! Van, your turn! Don't stop now, Elaine! Now's a great time for a shard boost. Focus unleashed. Engaging yeah, skill. Shit. A chance. Huh? Up to you, Renee. My turn. Activating skill. Target acquired. Take this! We can win! Focus unleashed. Engaging sure. skill. I'll be quick. We 
should go on the attack. Sucks. This'll hurt. Your crush. You did it. We come down here after sensing some evil shit in the air, and what do we find? Looking for a fight, punk? Wait, was an Ark Devil here? I have to wonder if we were even needed, with our master already being here. Nice going, Elaine. Looks like you didn't arrive a minute too soon. We could hear the fighting while we were on our way here. And you and your old friends work together like a dream, huh? Like what? You're just imagining it. <laughs> 